Go to the Feedback tab, Form Design and Settings. The Showing Time template is the current default. If you added more templates, you'll see them in this pull-down. Create new template, and you can rename it here. You can always go back and rename it by clicking Rename. If you want this template to be set as your default, click this. When new feedback is received, you can hold it for review so you can approve it before it's published, or you can publish it automatically. Feedback sent by in reply to the agent email address or the office email address. This text will be in the body of the feedback request email. It's automatically going to fill this out, but you can change it to whatever you want. Instructions box is also going to be filled out. Change it to whatever you want. And the footer text, this text will be at the bottom of the feedback survey. Now you're going to create what questions you want on your form. You're going to do that by clicking this tab. These are your question options. You have the add multiple choice question. This is where you're going to ask your question and then give multiple responses. How awesome was the new pool? So your response, we'll just say awesome. Add another one by clicking this. It was cool, I guess. And add another one. Not so awesome. To add more of these, you continue to click the Add Multiple Choice question. Did you like the disco ball in the living room? Yes, pretty groovy. You can add as many questions as you want. The 70s called, and they want it back. The add free text question allows you to ask a question and they can type in whatever they want in the field. What would you do to make showings more awesome for this house? As soon as you're done, hit save changes. This template has been updated. I hope this helps.